What's up guys, Mike here, the Detroit Borg, with a very quick look at the Lightning to USB cable, which is now arriving ahead of the new iPhone 5 this Friday. So right now I don't have anything to connect it to, but we can at least take a look at the cable. So these retail for $19.99, and it's the first complete cable or connector change for Apple since 2001, or actually 2003 when they debuted the dock connector on the iPod. Uh, so that's quite a long run for any dock connector standards that actually predated the mini USB connector. So anyway, uh, this is much smaller. This is 80% smaller than the original or the existing dock connector. Apple says it's also more robust. It's completely digital, so there's no analog signals going through here, which also means that the connectors, there's only eight pins in this case versus 30 pins. The connectors are assignable depending on what the application is, uh, but of course it now eliminates any analog functionality like analog video or analog audio. And more importantly, the connector itself is reversible, so you can plug it in either way, which I think is fantastic. You can't do that with mini USB and certainly not with the old 30 pin connector. So let's go ahead and crack one of these open so we can take a look. All right, so I'm just gonna pop this open, pull out the cable, and you can see it's very nice and neatly tied together with this little cardboard insert. Uh, so we're just gonna release that, pop it through. You have to do that with the other side here. Who knew uh, unboxing the cable could be this fun, huh? All right, so let's get that out of the way. And there is our new cable, and it is very tiny. That is a very tiny connector. It even seems to dwarf the micro USB connector. And of course, we still have our standard USB connector, which is USB 2.0. It doesn't support USB 3.0. So let's take a look to see just how much smaller this is compared to the 30-pin dock, and you can see much, much smaller. It's quite a bit thinner. Uh, the dock connector, well, maybe not thinner, but you can see it's quite a bit smaller overall. It's more robust here. There's a lot less parts here. You don't see all these uh, friction fittings along the side, which can get caught or break off. Uh, and, of course, it's reversible, so you can install this in either direction. Now, the cable design is pretty familiar, and it's also the same length. So if you bring it all the way to the end, you can see the USB ends are the same length, uh, and they're also the same, same design, so you have the USB logo there. Now, it looks like they also shrank the base of the USB cable here, so you can see it's a little shorter. Now, looking very closely at the connector, you can see our eight pins on either side. Again, this makes this reversible. You can also see that the metal part of the plug is unibody. You see no seams here, uh, so it's a nice seamless construction. makes it very durable. You also see those friction fittings along the side for snapping into the device, so that kind of holds on to the device when it's connected. Now, if you look at a micro USB cable, you can see it's actually very similar in size. But of course the micro USB connector is not reversible and you also see those uh, metal friction fittings on the back which snap into the device. So very similar in idea and size but executed much more elegantly by Apple here. Alrighty guys, so until I get a device to plug this into, that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again in the next video.